um, here with um, so it needs a bit of work on it because we have, normally have this running at the end of well very soon we'll have the pump working again we have a water course running from the pond runs the water back up but we've got a lot of clearing to do here and um, getting that ready but it creates a nice water feature in the garden nice sound of bubbling water and the birds of course love it no fish in the pond unfortunately we had a hungry heron come down and uh, feast upon our last um, what you call them school of fish yeah so the pond's looking quite clear at the moment although we're going to get in there with the wader boots and there's, a, there's a pond lily there going to come up <laughs> and over here we've got um, somebody's given a sign calling it Lover's Lane, but there's a nice little um, area to come. That's one of my favourite spots in the garden. As again, I'm a I'm the sort of person who likes uh, to be cool in the garden during the summer, so it's nice to work in this area generally. But this is a lovely spot. And you get the deer that come through here and the squirrels. This is the lovely nature spot. So it's a nice spot here for people to come and meditate. It's a good reflection on, you know, serenity, meditation. And um, but it looks like she needs a fresh coat of paint, which we do every couple of years. That has a very nice serene energy around it. And then over here we have our uh, sleeping giant. You can see his feet in the ground over there. So I think I might be standing on the knees about here. Good morning. Good morning. So here we are with Andrew down at the burn pile. We're just sorting out all the prunings, cutting, making logs. Oh my, well Andrew is I was <laughs> yeah. Over here we've got a couple of compost heaps, garden waste goes here. Moving up here to what um, Niels uh, calls the Golden Walk, and named the Golden Walk, which is um, a bed he looks after, um, and also our orchard here. Apple orchard, and we also have at the end a plum tree. And through there, you can see what's called the panorama, which is a nice seating area for meetings, meditations, whatever. Again, nice sheltered area, and um, nice to be out in the garden. From there. Here we have our beehive, which is uh, called Joy, and um, the bees are out at the moment. We tend to stay in when it's this kind of weather, so it's a bit, a bit damp, um, but they may be out later as the sun's out. We're planning to possibly have a second hive here this year but we'll see how this one goes see how it develops and there's a seating area there which you know we do encourage people to come down and meditate with the bees they're very peaceful very thin horn bees easy to be around as long as you don't get in front of the hive which is when they tend to be protective and they can sting so yeah it's just giving a respectful distance but they're quite happy to have people come around and be with them, be with the bees. A nice little secret part of the garden here at Cleany where you can just uh, get inside the hedge here. I just love it in here, it's just very nice and enclosed. You feel like you're uh, being hugged by nature, hugged by a hedge. Just around the corner, we move into the Trekking Garden. It's a little like they could do with a nice 
nice new paint job, one of the jobs we can do this year. There you go, it's better. <laughs> Wind's blowing them around. So each bed here is representative of the chakra energy system. So the base, sacral, so the plexus, heart, throat, third eye and the crown, it's all seven. Um, my story with this garden is um, I came here and did my experience week in 1993 and the group project was helping in the garden and they were just planning the garden at the time. So this was all dug out. So none of this was here and they were just planning it. And then I came back kind of 20, 25 years later, um, 2011. And, um, and there it was, it was all done. So it was just really great to see the before and after over that time. And now I'm garden focalizer, which is <laughs> interesting. Um, but at the moment, there's not a lot going on you know, wait for that spring energy to draw everything up. But um, yeah, we have colours associated with the chakras. So red flowers, orange, yellow, green, um, yeah, light blue, and actually, yeah, there's indigo and then white at the end. And then we've got these various beds around which are, have herbs in them which relate to the chakras. This bed doesn't look like much, there's a lot of manure in here, but this is our dahlia bed, so basically, was it dahlia? I'm not sure. Um, but this will be this high with dahlias, dahlias and um, just lovely violets and pinks, and just really vibrant. That's a nice little decking area here, people can come, come down to the garden anytime and just enjoy the chakra garden. It's a good little sunbathing area as well, you can stretch out on.